bearings, yeah, sealed bearings, yeah. Um, you shouldn't, obviously, don't have to grease them really now because they are sealed. sealed. Yeah. But you still got a collar in between that wheel. You got a piece. You got a piece machined out of the top for right. the bearing to sit. Yep. And then there's a little sleeve, which is like a center riser for the pin to go down through. Um, and obviously in that pin you've got a greaseway. Right. So you're better off to fill up the middle of the wheel because it still rotates there on that pin, you know? Sure. But yeah, it's weird. <coughs> and what are they fitted to? They go in the inside of the center, what keeps the center in line. So you've got the wheels underneath that keeps it oh, right. up above. Yep. And then there's eight wheels that go on the inside that are um, horizontal. And basically that keeps the center in line so it doesn't, there's no movement when the ride goes around. Right. Around here. On the end of this prop shaft here. Yeah. That there, there is a pinion, a tooth pinion, what goes on there. Right. And then there's a big crown wheel, which sits upside down. Yeah. Which obviously, the pinion on this shaft is what turns the crown wheel. Okay. And then in the middle of the crown wheel is another shaft that comes up, which is two big bearing blocks that bolts to this and comes up to here. And then there's a big cog, a big pinion on the top. And obviously the teeth engage in here. So when Obviously the shaft turns and the pinion turns, it turns the shaft, the upward shaft, which then turns the cog, which will then move the centre. Right. Um, obviously the, there is a set of new bolts to go in here, um, and they will have sleeves on, which are um, going to be made out of a, a steel called e t Right. Um, 48T, I think it's called, um, which is a steel that as it runs, it gets harder. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the pinion is going to be made out of like an E and 8 metal, which is still a, it's still a, um, a toughened steel, but it won't be as hard as the sleeve. So it will always be the pinion that will wear instead of wearing the sleeves out. Right. Um, and there are two metals that will work very well together. This shaft here is what runs back to the belts that the belts then run to the motor. Right. So as the motor turns, obviously it turns the belts, turns this shaft. We're waiting for a new pinion, tooth pinion to go on here. And we're waiting for a new crown wheel. The crown wheel has got 48 teeth on it, I think. Right. Um, and that's being made from a company, a company in Sheffield called Bell Gears, um, which specialise in that sort of gearing. So it's being made new from yes, scratch, from it's scratch, not reprofiled yes. no. or anything like that. And the new cog for up here is being made from a company in Delabol. And what they're going to do is they're going to cut the new cog with water jet. Oh right, okay. Um, which, you know, would most probably be very interesting to see. Yeah, today's um, technology. But they, they're going to make, they're going to make me t uh, 20 sleeves, 10 of one size and 10 of another size, and they're making me up two dummy pinions out of a mild steel. Right. So I can put it together, and then we can test it, we can push the ride one way and then push it back the other way and see what one is the best one for, ah. because I want to make sure it's engaged properly. Yeah, so it fits um, the right so profile. So it fits, yeah, yeah so yeah. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have two lots of dummy ones mm -hmm. to test it. Yep. And then when I'm happy with what one, then they will then fabricate the new, the proper one. Excellent. So the basic principles then is, is to get this this turning yes with the ball joints on yes so that turns as as one unit as one unit yes and then the drive is transmitted through the ball joints out to the arms yes 
Yes. And the arms are tied together by the platforms. By the platforms. Right. Yes. And the ball joint will allow the arms to to swivel for going to over the, the hills. the profile of yes. the outer track. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. The last time you was here, we was doing a set of rollers which are now all back in place, but they're right yeah. down in the center. Um, and that's what keeps the center square, keeps, the center keeps ring, it yeah. in, the, in that circle. We are putting in our new set of bolts into the cheese ring, which forms our, our basically where our gear, our new gear will sit, which will drive the ride around. So we've got new rollers. We've got our new rollers, our sleeves, and our new bolts. And we're just lock tightening them, so I don't want the sleeves to be turning. Right. I see you've got the new pinion gear fitted. We have got the new pinion gear at the bottom. Um, we fitted them yesterday. Um, so that's all ready to go. Um, obviously the crown wheel has been fitted to the to the upward shaft and we're just waiting for our top pinion to come back um, and as soon as that comes back we can then fit that to the shaft make the new key for it and then come and assemble it and we should be okay excellent i'm hoping but we've got ian here today which is our volunteer all the way from swindon hi ian um, uh, who comes down every once in a while and uh, He's a really, really good help. He's like my apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
in the final part of putting our Nozark chariot eraser back together. Um, as you can see here is our new crown wheel and on the prop shaft going back to the belts we've got the new pinion on the bottom what drives the crown wheel and we've got our new pinion on the top um, along with our new bolts and sleeves um, we've just had it running for 20 minutes half an hour and we've had to make a couple of final adjustments um, but we're all very happy with it and uh, it seems to be running very very well um, and it's nice to, that we've got it finished in time for the Easter period um, obviously it was a major major job to do um, but we have got there with a couple of days to spare so we're very very happy about it and obviously we've done away on the top pinion with having the nut and washer to keep the keyway in because the keyway was always a parallel key and now we've put in a proper tapered key so we no longer need to have the nut and washer on the top which is definitely a better job um, and we've done the same with, with the bottom shaft. We've put a tapered key in it instead of parallel keys, um, which is going to be a lot better. So now we've just got to make sure we keep an eye on it and uh, making sure that we look after it and see how it performs over the next couple of weeks and, uh, and go from there. Ideal. So Thanks thank very much, Tom. No problem. Thank you, Mick. Okay.